Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So about a month or so ago, I posted that it was still possible to disable Chrome's UI Refresh 2023 design changes and layout changes. Now, just to let you know that once again, Google has removed a significant flag that was used to disable the UI refresh, and that was in the recent version upgrade to Chrome version 125, which I posted on earlier this week. And I'll leave that video in the end screen. Now, this is because, as I've mentioned on the channel, flags are not options, they are experiments. So Google can remove a flag at any given time, which they have done in this case. And um, without this flag, which has now been removed, customize Chrome side panel, it is no, now no longer possible to uh, disable the UI refresh in case you want to go back to the so-called older and normal look and feel of Google Chrome. But I received an email in my inbox this morning, and I've seen a lot of comments on the channel uh, regarding this, that it's not possible to disable Chrome refresh after version 125 rolled out. But I received an email from this viewer whose name, unfortunately, I cannot pronounce. So I'm just going to pop it in my notepad so you can check that out for yourself. And um, this viewer said that if you use this command line flag, uh, it is still possible to disable Chrome's UI Refresh 2023 design and visual layout changes. And I'm always, I'm always grateful for constructive feedback on the channel. So thank you. Now, once again, regarding flags, this command line flag will work at the time of posting this video, which is today on the 17th of May 2024, but it could be removed and the functionality for this command line flag could be removed at any given time. So always just keep that in mind. So it's a bit of cat and mouse with these flags when new versions are rolled out or updates roll out there. They could be removed at any given time. So just um, just keep that as a side note. So what we need to do, and by the way, this command line flag will be in the description for you to copy and paste. So what we do is we copy that in and we right click on any shortcut for Google Chrome. So that shortcut could be in your start menu, your desktop or on your taskbar as in my case. You click on properties and then what we do is in the target, yeah, at the end of that target field, dot exe quotations you leave a space and if if there's anything in front of that by the way to the right hand side you just delete it so dot exe quotations leave a space and paste that command line flag in if you don't leave a space this will not work you click on apply you click on ok you close google chrome and then you relaunch the browser and there we go um chrome ui refresh 2023 has been disabled you can see the uh, the sidebar, the, the show side panel, um, that's back to how it used to be. Um, I have noticed though with this command line flag that it doesn't remove all traces of the refresh 2023. I'm still noticing that the extensions still has the same button. If we go to the main menu, that is obviously that's been changed back to the old look and feel. Uh, the home button and so on, but you get the idea. So a lot of the UI refresh 2023 changes have been removed. So um, I think that's a nice move. You can see um, a lot of that layout and those redesigned changes have been removed. So if you are still seeing one or two traces of it, obviously we are dealing with a very experimental feature to disable it, but you can also see that the search tabs has been moved back to the top right and so on. So I would say that 90% of it has been removed. So that's how you can still disable uh, the Google Chrome UI refresh layout and visual redesign changes using that command line flag. And if you want to put everything back to how it used to be, um, all we do is we reverse the process. So we head back to our shortcut. We right click on that. Click on properties and we head to .exe quotations and we delete everything that's in front of that to the right hand side and that's now the original target. Click on apply, click on OK and we close the browser and then we relaunch the browser and there we go. Everything is back 
to how it used to be tabs search tabs is to the left hand side we have our toolbar buttons with the ur refresh we've got the site panel button that's been removed and we, our menus have is um changed back to how it was previously so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one